welcome to our channel. We are driving to Balete Road here in Batangas. As you can see in front of us, that is the volcano of Taal. And let's see if, if they're gonna let us to get close to the water because we are going to our property in Malvar and we're thinking just to go around this route because there is a way we can uh, pass this road all the way to our property. We are close to the water now guys. You can see right there is the Ta'al Lake. No restriction here. I still see some uh, residents. They don't evacuate, they're still in there. But yeah, there's some people that doing sightseeing. Let's take a look what's going on here. Someone's selling a, I think a fish. Looks like this is Balete Market or wet market. Hey guys. Hey guys, you can see the volcano behind me. Yeah, so you can see guys that there's still smoke on top of it. And around me, you'll see guys that all the fishermen kind of trying to get some fish. Maybe for their food because they don't evacuate on this area. I can also smell uh, the sulfur from the volcano. Well, it's kind of gonna stink. But let me show you guys what it looks like the water is here. Wow, this guy are still swimming on the Ta'a Lake. I don't know if he's fishing. You can see the surrounding right there. But yeah. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a lot of tilapia running around here. They are getting close. They tried to stay away from the volcano right there. Okay, I asked this Korea how how low is the water after all the earthquakes happen? You see this rock right here? The changes of depth of the water is about maybe three feet from that rock in there. All the way there. Oh. Apparently my husband is behind the volcano. Look, there's new smoke right there. Oh, a big old puff. Came yeah, out. there's a new puff. That was like just a little. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's multiple volcano inside of that. So, it's gonna be coming from everywhere. But it's not showing any dark smoke, right? Yeah, that gray smoke. Yeah, there's no gray. But it's pretty quiet right now. Look at all the fishermen. Because all the tilapia is really close to the shore. So, we're just looking at the volcano. And it, it's in the main splurt is over here on the, the left side. You look on the left side, but look over towards the right side, and there's uh, it's venting out over here. On I don't know if I can see it, I can't get it on there, but you can see there's two different places where it's venting it. It's not doing it as good as we were just looking at it like a minute or two ago, but uh, there's a couple different places where it's venting throughout the that little island over there on the on the volcano. But it, it's interesting watching it, and the people here, it's their uh, uh, nonchalant. I mean, there's a lot of people just hanging out, not really carrying. This is actually, a, I think it's an evacuated area where we are actually in. Uh, no really checkpoints, it's just people just hanging out. There's a lot of news crews around here. But other than that, I mean, it's... It's not bad. It's not completely quiet around here. Okay. 
Alright guys, um, we are at Magapi, Balete, Batangas. So, this is a back road going to our property. But we haven't seen any uh, people around in this area. We saw a lot of dogs like that one. Calling. They're all loose. They're looking for their owners. Oh, and right. there is a bunch of people here. I think they're playing badminton. Yeah. This is kids. Yeah, they're kids. Okay, another evacuee. A lot of dogs. Yeah, there's still some few people here. Well, this might be a non vacuee here. Let's see right here. Yeah. There's another. What's this? Batangas Balete. Okay, we're out of Balete. Now we're oh. here at Malabar. Yeah. Now, everybody. Uh, I think this is a safe zone because I see people in each house, like that one. Alright guys, we're here now to our property in Malvar. We'll take a left. Right, we're here to our property. And I can see all the ash. It was not bad. And my husband's right there, just excited to see our banana trees. He thinks that it might be gone, but it's still there. We have two. See some people that they are evacuating just now. The coconut's still good. Looking for some jackfruit. We're looking for jackfruit to take home, but it looks like they're no good. They're, yeah, we have lots of no we have lots over there, and then it's that part. Yes. If you guys want some jackfruit, come here. <laughs> get some. Yeah, there's oh, a lot over there's, there. There's a good one up there. Yeah. Where's the bing? So, this is one of the evacuation center, which is the Inusluban Integrated High School. You can see all the evacuees in each classroom balcony. There's still a few. traffic in here a lot of people dropping a lot of evacuees right now yeah they're all in the side that's why it's so traffic and tight there's a lot of cops SWAT team emergency ambulance rescue cars thanks for watching you know uh, hit the like button if you liked it, you know, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and hit the bell button to get notified.